Welcome back to Jerusalem Bateline, a historic event in Beirut, Lebanon this month. An unprecedented ministry outreach called Power to Change was able to reach millions with the gospel of Christ. <laughs> The national outreach culminated in three special festival events. Each was attended by more than 1,500 people and was broadcast by three TV channels, including Lebanon State Television. That meant millions of viewers, mostly Muslims, in Lebanon and Syria were able to view the broadcast. Recently, the Hebrew University announced one of the most significant archaeological finds in years. It not only affirms the biblical record, but also the life of one of ancient Israel's most famous kings. It's small, only one centimeter wide, but it's already made a big impact. It's called a bula, an ancient seal. What makes this so significant is the name on the seal. We discovered the seal impression imprinted by King Hezekiah himself, saying very clearly in ancient Hebrew, Lechizkiyahu, Ahaz, Melech Yehuda belongs to Hezekiah, son of Ahaz, king of Judea. Hebrew University archaeologist Elat Mazar discovered the seal during one of her excavations. For Mazar, it was the discovery of a lifetime. Astonished. This, this was, I, I think, this was most amazed find for me personally, ever. I was kind of <laughs> amazed. Mazar and her team discovered the bula in this area. It's called the Ophel, built by King Solomon and located at the southern wall of the Temple Mount. Mazar says the discovery is unprecedented. We never found in archaeological uh, excavations, scientific stratigraphy, such an item that is so close, private, tangible to any of the Israelite or Judean king ever. It's, it, I believe it's, it's as close as we can get to any biblical figure, not to mention such a figure as King Hezekiah. The Bible describes Hezekiah in 2 Kings 18.5. It says, He trusted in the Lord God of Israel, so that after him was none like him among all the kings of Judah, nor who were before him. Mazar says the Bula was King Hezekiah's personal seal for important documents. She says the find validates the Bible. And I'm amazed to see repeatedly that archaeological evidence goes so beautifully along with the biblical story. It just repeatedly showing us that so much of the biblical narratives are accurate. Simply as that, accurate. The find also connects the Jewish people to ancient Israel. We're talking about, what, 2000? 800 years, uh, just as the Bible says, uh, we're talking about the kingdom of Judah and, Ju Judah and Jerusalem, the capital of Israel. Uh, we're talking about the history of Jerusalem in such a tangible, independent way. That's all for this edition.